throw in a bold question here. Um, if you were to be stranded on an island and were given an MP3 player mm -hmm. where you can only download one album, what would it be? Earth, Wind, and Fire's greatest hits. Oh. Yeah. I saw them in Chicago recently. They were awesome. They're, they are awesome. Yeah. They're still awesome. Yeah. They, 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 they've just been, they've kind of defined the combination of R&B and horns and yeah. melody and great songwriting, great harmonies, vocals, every, everything about them. Just love them. And that tall guy, what an energy that guy's got. Oh, yeah, right? Yes, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> I saw them by accident. I've always wanted to see them. This is off the thing. But I've always wanted to see them. And we went to Chicago because I always wanted to see the Eagles. And I went, I talked to my wife and we go to Chicago, that's her hometown, to see the Eagles. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, two weeks later, they announced they were coming to Miami. Right. But you know how it is. It was too late. Right? It was the airplane tickets also. Yeah. And then, coincidentally, I saw Earth, Wind, and Fire we were playing at the Chicago Theater. And I was like, oh, we, we just got to go. So I saw it. It was awesome. I got to about a contrast in uh, stage energy, right? Yes. You know, <laughs> Eagles, the, 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 yeah, they're, 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 they're awesome, but yeah. they're, they're oh, very low key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire is yeah, they're like, yeah. raging. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Right. Okay, okay. All right. Um, the music videos are very popular now. I noticed that um, your band only has made one in 2006 for the song Love is a Bright. Do you guys plan to make any more uh, music videos in the future? Um, we have one out now. Actually, uh, yeah. if you go to YouTube, yeah, it's, um, and by the way, that's Love is a Bridge. Did you, it, it's Bridge, not oh, Bride. Bridge. You see that? Yeah. I just, I like, I like Love, I like Love is a Bride, but, um, <laughs> di different song. Okay, right. <laughs> Maybe it's my spelling or bitch. Okay. And, uh, yeah, gosh, Love is a Bridge was made and we did, we shot that video in 88 or 89. Um, that's, that, that's an old one, yeah, but the, the, the most recent one is a song called The Lost and the Lonely, and it's off of our new CD, and it was shot um, about four or five months ago, so um, there is actually a current one out there. It's not, it's on YouTube, um, I don't know if anybody else is showing it, but that's the most recent yeah. one we've done. Well, I looked at iTunes, that's where I got the information. Oh, okay. Kind of Interesting. No, it's, the, no, the, the, the video's not yeah, on iTunes yeah. yet, no. It should be, it should be, because it's, it's a good one. The um, the new CD is uh, it was done by an Italian record label called Frontiers, and they sent a crew to film us and do a you know just a chat, mm -hmm. and then from the live show they put together a video of the of the Lost and the Lonely too. It's a tribute to um, troops all over the world. So um, if you look on on YouTube, just just look for the River Band, the Lost and the Lonely, you'll see a new one. Yeah. And yes, we would do a new one if there was, you know, a reason to do it. Hang on one second. The Bride. My Love is a Bride is here. Or who is it? I hate that. But yeah, God forbid I don't answer. God forbid you don't answer because right. the rule comes to a close. But right. when they want to shut their phone yeah. off, it's okay. <laughs> exactly. The way it was. It's a different set of rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not recording this, are you? Not, she's not no. going to hear this. Well, no. I'm, we, no we didn't mean it. Yeah. We were just kidding. Good <laughs> <The> joke. <laughs> now, whatever. Uh, text it. I was going to do the audio for it, but I'm going to text you. Um, okay, uh, which band would you say was the most fun to tour with? Oh, wow. Um, uh, gosh, good question. I would have to say the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. We toured with them for a couple of years, 80, 81. We were out with them a lot. A lot of, lot of dual headlines uh -huh. with them. And they were just a riot. They were... Having fun, we were having fun. It was, it was just all good, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, what would you say was the funniest or most embarrassing moment that you, you've had on stage? <laughs> um, it's kind of a long story. The we, we went to we went to Los Angeles. Gonna play Los Angeles, LA, to the Australians and, and our, our lighting director was very young. So he wanted the lights to be spectacular in Los Angeles where you know, all of the industry is there. We're at the Greek Theater in the hills of, of LA and the curtain is down. So our guy just... He's real nervous, so he starts the fog machines on stage. And they're pumping, and they're pumping, and then so by the time we go on stage, these lights are just cutting through fog, and they look spectacular and everything. The curtain goes up, and the moist air from from the night in Los Angeles mixes with the oil, 
in the fog, and the whole stage literally turned into a skating rink. We couldn't stand up. We could walk one way, and then we couldn't get back down the stairs, and we were slipping around and sliding, oh. falling on our oh, backs. Man. It was it was an absolute circus. We could Wow. <laughs> Was so so then we finally gave up and we just walked to our microphones and we just stood there because we couldn't move around. Finally, it cleared up. We were able to get around a little bit, but the first ten minutes of that show, just stupid. <laughs> Funny. Um, I, I saw that in an interview that you had previously that the cut like a diamond was a huge success in Germany when it was released. Has it been that successful in the United States? Not. Probably not. Um, we haven't heard from the from the, the record label uh -huh. what the sales are in, in individual countries. That's you know they, they they report every three or four months kind of thing. But the initial reports for Germany was they sent a certain amount to Germany and they yeah. sold out in a day. Yeah, that's what I saw. So then they sent them again and they sold out again. Um, in in America, we tour all the time, so people know that we're together. In Germany, they thought we had broken up. So I think there was a rush from fans who had no idea that we were still together and going to do a new CD. I think that's part of the reason that Germany snatched them up so quick. But whatever the reason, we're happy that it was, you know, that, it, that they went off the shelf that fast over there. Um, now, we're not talking millions of records like we used to, uh, but... Nevertheless, the, the label predicted a certain amount, and it's kind of tripled since then. So that's great. You can't argue with that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what it says. Um, do you do you have any uh, future plans to tour outside the U the U the, 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 the United States? All depending on record sales. Um, for probably 10 to 15 years, we've only left the country to go to Canada a few times, but to go overseas. Mm -hmm once or twice in the last 10 years. So it really depends on the new record and if it catches on and, and they're, you know, pr we don't just go somewhere, promoters bring us to play a show. So it's up to them whether they see the value and, and want to put a tour together. But we hope so, we hope so. because of how the, the, the audience feeds off their favorite songs. Um, but Cool Change, we've done a lot to Cool Change. We've stretched it out and made it a feature for the guitar players. Um, it's always a great song to sing. There's there's never a time when when, when that one, you know, it never gets old. Um, another one of my favorites is Take It Easy On Me, um, just because it was significant to the time of my life when we were doing it. It really rang true. Um, and uh, where we recorded, just the memories attached to it. I love I love singing that song. It's a hard song for me to sing because of the range of it. So I always use it as a marker of whether I'm going to struggle or whether I'm having a good night, you know. But Cool Change is probably probably the one that I enjoy the most for, for, for all those reasons, you know. Okay. Do you have a favorite city or venue that you just, just love to play in? Well, I got a lot of a lot of great venues. Um, I have to say that um, there's a venue just outside of Denver called Red Rocks. Red Rock, yeah. It's a it's a, it. it's just gorgeous. Yeah. It's a, it's so stunning. You can't. It's hard to describe the, the, the natural boulders and the amphitheater. And just being out there at night with people having such a good time. It's a fabulous place. It's a great place to play. There's another one, though, an indoor venue in Kansas City. Um, it's at a casino called the Ameristar. It's just one of those rooms that it's a pretty standard place, mm -hmm. but the crowds are always nuts when we get there, and the room sounds awesome, and it's just, um, uh, you know, we just always look forward to, to getting back there. So, But they're, they're great venues are all over the place, you know, good fun. I've had 
Uh, several people have told me about that Red Rock. Now I'm kind of in my mind. I want to see a concert when you got to You got to go see it, and it's just stunning. Okay, um, I see that you guys are going in the Moody Blues Cruise in April this year. Is mm -hmm. this your first uh, music cruise? No, we were on that same cruise last year, and um, I'm happy to say uh, we were a late addition to that cruise. Mm -hmm. Primarily, the people that go on the cruise are Moody Blues longtime fans. But then there are other people that go because uh, on our cruise was uh, Ambrosia, um, the, one of the lead singers from Toto. Uh, uh, the Zombies were there and sounded awesome. Uh, so the, the, the Greg Link from Emerson Lake Palmer, incredible range of music all the time. starts and it doesn't stop until the night before you're going to get off. Um, so people just love that atmosphere. They're just immersed in music. Uh, like I said, we were a late ad. We were kind of a surprise to people. And we got so many people wrote in that they asked us to come back and do it again. So that's, right. that was kind of a, a nice little honor. Yeah. There's a close like, interaction with the fans and the group, right? We get always. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the... So, yes, um, everybody except the Moody Blues. The Moody Blues stay very much apart from people. So, them, them and, and Greg Lake, they had security people. They, yeah. they stay very much apart. But the rest of us, we just wandered and mingled and ate dinner with, with everybody and whatever. And, and the cool thing about the cruise is nobody bothers you. They're happy to see you. They say hi, so and so. But they don't come over and bug you unless it's at the show and then they want autographs and right. stuff like that but it's really kind of a cool atmosphere because they know we're there to watch the music just like they are we're seeing our bands we love play too so it's good good fun okay um what would you say was the uh, difference between the original little river band and the band of, uh, today um performance the the, the all the all the lineups of Little River Band have had great vocals, they've been great musicians, and they they put they, they presented the music very well. Um, but the Little River Band of old didn't, and I was there and I was part of it for 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 years. They didn't perform together as a band, like like as people, mm -hmm. like go and walk over to one of the guys and enjoy it or whatever. They 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 perform in their own little corridor um, and it was kind of striking to me I, people moved forward and backward but nobody was moving sideways nobody was doing stuff together um, and that started to loosen up in the early 80s um, when myself and a new guitar player came in and we were street musicians that were just going we, we're not standing still we're going to move around whatever so things started to loosen up and now um, the band is, you know, there are a lot of times people are crisscrossing and, and going up to the drums or whatever and acting like a band. And I think there's never, the music has never suffered. It's just that the visual thing is much more engaging now, in my opinion, because we've got people watching individuals. Oh, there they go. They're doing that. Oh, they're doing that. That's, so it's, it's, to me, it's more, it, it, it's a better visual now. Well, I can tell you, from a fan's point of view, I, I love that. I love that when they start jamming together and playing to each other and that kind of stuff. Awesome. Exactly. I and uh, believe me, we, you know, we play these songs 100, yeah. 200, 200 times a year between rehearsals and sound checks and whatever. I mean, we, we play, play them a lot. If you'd only had that end of the show, it would be very easy just to stand there and, and play. I, I, I know it by heart. I don't even have to... I could not, I could space out and be thinking about Mars, but I don't. We're here to do a show, not just to play the music. We're there for to, to entertain people, and so I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud that the band has has rolled into that kind of a attitude. That's excellent. I shot a band. I don't know if I I shot a band like that you were describing, and I love to take pictures. And I'm like I said, I love to see the movement and stuff because I'm always. I can shoot the whole show and not get tired because I'm always looking for the better picture. Right. But there was this one band, and after like the third song, because they were just... You had all your shots, yep. 
It will move. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, the guy just there, 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 and there. Yeah. And I'm like, and I usually never put down my camera. I put down my camera. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> How many pictures can I take of that guy standing? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. A chord, E chord, it all looks the same. What are you going to do? Yeah. I hear you. Okay. Um, last question. Do, do you know the, the name Little River Band originated? I do. Um, the, the, the band in, at its creation. successful bands together uh, to create, you know, uh, a solid vocal thing that, that, you know, to go outside of Australia and, and get on the radio and so on and so forth. What, what, at, 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 as, it, as it went, they, they did a great job. Um, but they didn't agree on a name. There was a lot they didn't agree on, but they didn't agree on a name. So they were literally on their way to their first show. And they passed a little town, they were, you know, we don't have a name yet, they passed a little town called Little River. And one guy said, tonight let's just be Little River Band, and we'll we'll see what happens after that. And then of course it stuck, and, and then they get the, the chief success in America, and now of course we go all over the country. There's a little river in almost every state of the union. Uh, so it, it's, it's pretty cool, we, we run into Little River all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I looked up the name. I don't know. I'm just new information. Have you ever heard that? There's that the Little River Band of Ottawa Indians. Have you heard of them? Yes. Yes. So that, that name kind of means something because I was reading. Like I know that the band has gone through the diversity and what what have you throughout, right. throughout the years. And it says here there. Um, this is the. Uh, this is just an excerpt of what I saw. Sure. No. Uh, it says the Little River Band of Ottawa Indians. They're a Michigan tribe. They have survived the present day despite policies and nearly robbed it of its identity. We've actually performed. Good. In a, on, at a casino that is on their land oh, really? and that they own. Yeah, we played at the Little River Casino oh, okay. for them. Interesting side story yeah. to the Band of Indians. Old members have come and gone, uh -huh. and um, in the early days of the internet, before anybody, especially us, knew to go out and buy LittleRiverBand.com uh -huh. and LittleRiverBand.com, so in the early days, one of those... Um, so he purchased the domain name and then sold it to the Little River Band of Indians. And, of course, the Little River Band of Indians wanted to be called, known as the Little River Band of Indians. Right. They didn't need to have LittleRiverBand.com, so we, we, we finally came to an agreement and you know, bought it back from them, and, and everybody's happy. Like I say, we performed yeah. everything. I, I, um, I think everything else is squared away, though. But, um, yeah, the, the Indians, um, we got it all figured out. It's all good. All good? All right. Thank That's you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will be back this evening to uh, take the thing. We'll move around for you. Excellent. <laughs> I love it. If we're not too cold.